A local businessman wants to bring a church to downtown Macon, but city, but city and state laws could stand in his way. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro tells us how this whole issue could come down to a definition. I spoke to Michael Riscala. He and his family drive to Atlanta every month to attend church. So now he wants to bring the service closer to home. But city and state codes regarding alcohol sales near churches could stop him. So the question is this, what makes up a church? It's one of the oldest churches in the of time of Christ. Michael Riscala wants to bring the Archangel Michael Coptic Church to this building off 2nd Street in downtown Macon but the spirits are standing in his way. There's nothing wrong with a church in and by itself, but because of other state codes and local codes regarding the sale of alcohol, when you place a church in a location that blocks out uh, 300 feet in all directions, the sale of alcohol. Which could be a problem. Alcohol sales at restaurants, bars, and nightclubs are a big boost to the downtown economy. The macon Bibb County Planning and Zoning Commission already approved a liquor store to open at this building off 2nd Street, just 85 feet away from the proposed church. And 228 feet away, a restaurant is set to open that would serve liquor. We um, have to be careful with the land use decision because we don't want to block out those uses that have been a viable uh, land use for downtown. But Riscala argues this will just be a place for members to meet once a month to receive communion and pray. We're not calling it a church because it's a place of gathering that we want to gather together to be able to continue to hold the faith of uh, the Christianity as we have in all the years uh, before. So the city must decide on a definition. Is a gathering to pray the same thing as a church? The Macon Bibb County Planning and Zoning Commission says it will spend the next 30 days researching the local and state liquor codes and will hopefully come to a decision by the October 22nd meeting. Some buildings downtown do offer religious services, but the commission says those buildings aren't considered churches.